time now for a segment brought to you by J.P. Morgan Chase. It's important to teach our kids about money early on so they can be successful later on in life. But how do you get started? Well, here to help is Daniel Mendez. She's the branch manager at the Olneyville Chase. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you know, I have a son. He's three years old. So we're going over, you know, the coins and what they mean, the values. We've also had conversations of when we're at the store saying, well, we can't buy something every time. So I feel like there are moments where he understands money a bit, but when do you suggest we actually have these conversations with our kids? You know, it's never too early to start talking to kids about money, and it's great what you're doing. Um, many parents want to talk to their children about money, but they don't know how. Mm. Um, I definitely recommend starting early like you're doing. Talk to them about counting bills, you know, counting coins. When you go to the grocery store or at the restaurant when the check comes in, mm -hmm. have a conversation and start that dialogue. Research shows that kids that learn to save early in life are six times more likely to go to college. Six times, wow. Six times. That's and, amazing. you know, nowadays there's so many tools available. Tools that help you have a conversation with your kids about the do's and don'ts about money management. So what is available for parents out there, especially because they're trying to understand how, how much information can I give my kids? How is it, how can this be helpful? Yeah, online tools have been um, transformative transformative from an educational perspective mm -hmm. and um, the Chase First Banking account is an account that has been designed for kids and teens but is managed by the parent. It's owned by the okay. parents to, okay. to guide them and help them have conversations with them. Uh, this account is very unique and I enjoyed it because I used it with one of my children that was age appropriate and um, it, it allows you to assign chores in the app and it also oh. allows you to assign allowance, al allowance for the kids. Mm -hmm. So they learn that by completing certain tasks like emptying the dishwasher, maybe taking the trash out, they can make money. It also gives them a debit card. But the debit card is very unique because you will decide where they can use it. Maybe you assign the movies, maybe you assign to go like only that. to the grocery store or okay. open it to everywhere. But you get a notification every time they use the debit <laughs> card, so you're in control. You know, I think about this account as a financial health learner permit for the kids. I like that too. They're, they're having some responsibility, but not all, because it can be overwhelming and they are still kids, so you want it to be fun and enjoyable, but that lesson kind of underlying there. Uh, let's talk about security too. When you're opening these accounts or when you're using the apps, we want to make sure that our kids are not releasing personal information to, to the wrong people. That's so important. I'm a mother of five. I have kids from 22 to two, so security Bravo. is important. <laughs> Bravo to you, first and <laughs> foremost. Thank you. But as I said, I, I've used this account and I really love that the parent is the owner of the account, so yeah. you manage it. Um, we have built all, all of our online and digital platforms with safety and security in mind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we get those notifications, we manage the account, and we just have to guide them. And allow, this allows us to have a conversation with them and show them how to do budgeting, mm -hmm. how to do certain things, but we're the one guiding it. Yeah, and how to set it up the right way, like you mentioned. As the kids get a little older, you mentioned teens, now they're in high school, maybe moving on to that next level, maybe they're gonna take on even more responsibility. What's one piece of advice or words of wisdom that you give them going forward? You know, as they get older, and I do have college age students um, or kids, um, conversation about money is more meaningful. Yeah. They go from making money from chores to actually having a job that mm -hmm. they may be holding and getting a paycheck for doing an actual job, and, and the conversations have to be different. I do suggest that if you have older kids, sit down with them, show them when you're balancing your checkbook, when you're budgeting yeah. yourself, you know, how money goes in and how money goes out, mm -hmm. because that allows them to learn lessons that are gonna help them down the road. They'll learn that, you know, there's budgeting tools available. We do have the budgeting um, tool available at chase.com and on the app. I always recommend it for the parents really to use helpful. it. Yeah. Because kids can get an idea that if they just drain their account without saving, they could be in trouble, and that's a valuable lesson down the road. Mm -hmm. You know, what we have in mind is to have conversations early enough in life mm -hmm. so that we create a low risk trial and error, mm -hmm. you know, so that whenever those errors happen now, we can teach them and help them avoid it in the future. Yeah, you can learn to adjust, that's yes. for sure. Thank you so much for joining us. This is all helpful information. We're happy to have you with us. Thank this segment you. was brought to you by JP Morgan Chase, and if you'd like a link to their website, go to ours.